Hey guys, how's it going? It's Carter Jenko, and today I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on the Dobbins 705CB Fury. So I bought this rod at the 2018 Bassmaster Classic. So I've had it for about three years now and I've gotten a lot of experience with this rod and I'm gonna be able to share with you guys what I like to use this rod for, a little bit of specs on this rod and just an overall uh, in-depth review on this rod. So starting from the bottom. So right here we got an EVA handle foam on the bottom and then cork on the top. It's a shorter handle, which is what you want for throwing a crankbait. And then coming up here, we got a Fuji reel seat. As you can see, I don't have the reel in here right now. Usually I'll pair it with an SLX DC and a six four to one gear ratio. I go with a smaller reel for fishing my hard baits just to get a little bit more cranking power. And then coming up here to the blank, we got a 705 CB. So that is a five power rod in the crankbait model. So it's a little bit different from the five power in just a regular casting rod. It's going to be a seven foot model a seven foot medium heavy moderate fast action so it's going to have a little bit more play in the back of this blank and that's really what you want when you're throwing a crankbait because you're going to be cranking down that bank and you're going to hook into those fish and you don't want to rip it out of their mouth but you still want to get it in there and having a little bit of play in there is going to allow those fish to you know jump and do whatever during the fight as well right after you hook them and it's going to allow those treble hooks to stay in there and not get ripped out, especially you know when those fish are barely hooked in the mouth. And then coming up here to the guides, I'm not exactly sure what guides these are. I looked on the website and couldn't find the info on these guides. I am pretty sure they're Fuji because Dobbins uses Fuji on pretty much all of their rods. Hook keeper right here, same hook keeper that they use on all the other rods, Ecstasy's, um, Champion XP's, Extremes whatnot and so what do I like to use this for so it's a seven foot moderate action the reason I went with a seven foot rod is because you're gonna be able to pair make those accurate casts that you need to with the crankbait I really like to parallel a crankbait on riprap or seawall and to do that you got to make an accurate cast right on the edge of the water and get that bait right next to the bank because those fish are pinning that bait up against the bank as if it's a uh, bait fish because they don't have the bait fish doesn't have anywhere to go um, because it's blocked by that by being on that bank and it just provides a really easy opportunity for those fish to feed and making that cast right next to the bank is really crucial when you're trying to get bites so i went with that seven foot rod like i said i like to use this for mainly 1.0 square bills and 1.5s anything bigger than that i go to a heavier rod i also like to use it for a jerk bait and then I also like to use this for a quarter ounce trap. It's actually a very nice rod for a quarter ounce trap. Seven foot rod, but it still bombs that thing pretty far. With this rod, I also like to put a braid reel on here. So a 30 or 40 pound braid, um, a high gear ratio reel. And I'll throw a small popper. It's a really good rod for a small popper. And then a spook or a little shower blower anything like that is going to be a really good option for this rod it's just a really good uh versatile rod for any kind of hard bait that you're going to want to use i also use it for smaller very small jigs 516 quarter and they got to have a light wire hook as well as a weed guard that is either very uh, flimsy or just none at all so that you can get that hook in there and i'll i'll throw it on that light line in the winter and i'll literally just reel into those fish you know because it's a very light rod compared to most compared to most of your jig rods and with that light wire hook you're not going to want to you're not going to want to have as much power or you're gonna just bend out the hook or rip the hook out of the fish's mouth you know overall we got a nice green finish right here uh, the green rings and then a black finish all the way up the rod very clean rod um, weighs in at about 4.5 ounces so a very lightweight rod and it feels very well balanced with any reel you know when you have that tip down and you're cranking the rod you can just feel how light this rod is if you guys got any questions at all about this rod definitely leave a comment below I obviously like I said I have a lot of experience with fishing this rod buying it in 2018 so it's been a while 
and I really figured out what I like to use with this rod. Honestly, anything with a hard bait uh, with treble hooks is gonna be a really good option for this rod because you got that you know, extra flex in the back of this blank, as you can see. That's gonna offer uh, you know, being able to load up to that cast, and then when you're setting the hook, you know, you're not ripping the hook out of the fish's mouth, and as well as when you're playing that fish, and it's jumping, and doing all sorts of stuff, you're gonna be able to play that fish, not let the hooks get out, and it's really what you want in your crankbait rod. So definitely, if you guys wanna check this out, definitely go check out the link below. And thank you guys for watching the in-depth review on the Dobbins Fury 705 CB.